Hi, I'm Pam Cullen from 3 Mile Pond Girl Creates, and today I'd like to show you how I made this Father's Day card using the Let's Go Fishing Designer Series paper, paper and the Alphabet Alamo die set. So this is a, a pretty simple card to put together, but I thought it, I don't know about you, but I struggle with making masculine cards. So um, I like this Let's Go Fishing Designer Series paper because it's um, all about fishing and geared towards masculine colors and so it really made making this card easy so let me show you the designer series paper um, that comes with this and while i'm showing you this i also want to let you know that it's um, one of the papers that's also 15 percent off during the month of june so if you like this paper and like this card, um, this, this paper is on sale during the month of June. So he, this is each side of this paper, and I love these with the fish. And it also, there's a Let's Go Fishing bundle, and it also has a stamp set and dies that go along with it. I, at the moment, only have the paper, but um, I'm sure that I will eventually get the entire bundle as well. So. This is, um, this is really fun paper. I love the designs, geometric designs, as well as the fishing designs. And so it's really this um, blue denim and the blue fish. So it, I, I think it's very pretty paper. And so I went with um, the greens and the browns. This is one of our new colors, the wild wheat color and um, I haven't had an opportunity to use that one yet so it was kind of fun to put that together with this um, to, for this card so let me show you the products we're going to be using and then I'll show you the pieces so there's not much to go along with this I actually like I said we're using that designer series paper the alphabet al, al, al mode I don't know why I struggle saying that every time uh, die set which is of all of the alphabet pieces as well as some fun I think there's a little heart. yep there's an ex exclamation point there's a few other little pieces here as well as the numbers and the and sign so you can make your own greetings and sentiments to fit whatever type of card you're making so it's really kind of um, a fun set to have and it gives you some versatility as well so that is we, that's what we use to make the dad. Um, there's also, I did a little embossing on this piece right here just to give it a little bit more interest on the front of the card. And that is, I use this Stripes 3D embossing folder and it comes as a set. It's the spatters and the stripes 3D embossing folders. And these are designed to go through the mini cut and emboss machine. And so they fit in there perfectly you can run them in you if you only have the the regular size one of course they'll run through there but they have a whole bunch of dies and um, embossing folders and things that are specifically and you'll see the little um, icon in the catalogs showing that those will run through the mini the mini cat uh, mini cut and emboss machine so then of course whoops stamp stuck here um, we're spelling the letters out here and then for the inside I put you're absolutely amazing on the inside as a Father's Day card I thought that was a nice sentiment for a dad and that came from the colors and corn contours set and um, I thought about and I actually did try it because I love a little spatter piece and I thought about putting um, a little spatter on that and tried it but I felt like it distracted from the dad and you know it's his day so I didn't I thought that the dad should stand out so I didn't do that but it that I always love having that in a stamp set because it gives you some nice versatility on that so the only ink color that we're going to be using for this card is mossy meadow for that inside sentiment and um, that's really that's all the stamping that we need to do on this and then we'll basically be layering the card so um, let's go ahead and do that first we'll bring oh I told you I was going to tell you the pieces and um, I didn't so that this is a five this is a eight and a half five and a half piece of wild wheat scored at four and a quarter and I'm just going to bring 
my bone folder in and give that a nice crease. The dog's been in here, and so there's one of these days I'm going to have to do a video showing you the two dogs that I have because almost every video you hear them in some way shape or form so it might be nice to just so you can put a face to, <laughs> to the noise that happens in this in my card studio whenever I turn on the video camera so then we're going to do a five and a quarter by four piece of that nice let's go fishing designer series paper then we have a couple of other layers here um, these are going to layer on top of each other so then we have a very vanilla that's five and a quarter by four for the inside piece. Then a very vanilla, this one's three and three quarters by two and a quarter. And then this one is three and a half by two. That's gonna layer on top of that one. And then we have our piece of um, green that we're embossing, our mossy meadow piece, and that's four by two. And so then you would just put this in. I've already done that for the video's sake, but you would just you would put this in, and I like to use that line at the bottom of the embossing folder to line my piece of paper up and get that straight. So then you'd run it through your cut emboss machine, and you get this nice um, this nice embossing piece on for the front of your card. And so then we use the stylus shapes uh, again to cut the circle that we're going to put the dad. Um, the dead pieces on and um, that's that's all the pieces that we need for this card and again I say it every time but don't worry I will have all of these measurements and all of the products that we used over on my blog so you don't worry about writing those down right now I'll have everything over there for you to um, to for you to look at if you decide you want to recreate this card so let's do our stamping first. Let's just get our stamping out of the way. So we'll go ahead and line this up, and take our mossy meadow ink and stamp that sentiment. You're pretty, you're, what does it say? You're absolutely amazing. So we're gonna stamp that in our mossy meadow right near the top of our inside piece. There we go. So that's it for stamping on this card. So the one thing, and the rest of it is layering and putting our dad on, but the one thing I wanted to show you is that, let me show you these, I think I kept the, the A and the D, oh, I did. So these, are, these letters are, are really, really nice, but they're so thin, which is one of the things I like about them because you can fit a lot of letters like on the card but it was difficult to put glue on these. And so I decided to use um, adhesive sheet to make stickers out of this dad so that it would go, they would stick on there easier and there wouldn't be a lot of glue um, on, this, on this circle piece. So let me just show you how I did that. I have a scrap piece of the wild wheat cardstock and I'm just going to peel, this is the, what the adhesive sheet looks like, and it has a backing on it. And you just, that's the hardest part about this, is peeling that. Should have had it started. So, so you peel this off, and here's your sticky piece. So then you place that sticky part onto your, and one of the important things to remember is you want to cut this to the size of your cardstock. You don't want too much hanging over because if you do, when you run it through, we found this we found this out the hard way at a card class recently, is when you do, it gets stickiness all over your cut and emboss machine and your plates. And so you don't want to do that. You want to have it the same size as what your as the cardstock that you're cutting. And so then you simply line these letters up and um, there was only one D and only one A so I had to run the D's through a couple of times but anyway then you do this you <laughs> sorry I got sticky on my fingers from that adhesive sheet so they work and you would die cut these and you end up with these pieces so there there you go you have the your pieces here something on that one and um, the back, you peel off and there's your stickiness. So that's gonna stick right on our um, front sentiment piece. 
and we don't have to worry about a lot of glue with that. So I, I really love these, um, love this. And so when you have small, intricate pieces that are really hard to glue, the, uh, the adhesive sheets are really great. It's, that's a, a must have in your craft room, I think. So I have already done that and I have already done our embossing. So at this point, we're, we're just gonna go ahead and put these layers together and um, put this card. And it, like I said, it's not going to take us very long at all to do this card. I love this too, I love these fish. And I believe that the dye, some of the dyes that you get will actually cut out some of these fish from the, from the designer series paper. So I love when they do that, when they make a suite of products that coordinate, then a lot of times some, some of the dyes will cut out some of the um, pictures, florals, whatever it is in the designer series paper, which is really fun. So, and and it, uh, that's the thing about Stampin' Up! is that everything coordinates so that you, you don't have to go all over the place for everything. Your colors, your inks, your paper, everything coordinates and matches. So that's all, that's really great. So there's this piece together. So see what I said, I mean, this is gonna be go together really quick. So then I just layered this, I, just, I glued this piece down and then we're gonna pop that other, p other layer up on some dimensionals. And so I just like kitty cornered this on that base layer. Then we're going to stick this on dimensionals. This is um, one of our, our team, um, every month our Ingenuity Inkers team, we have a uh, card swap and our uh, challenge for the month of May was to make a masculine or a Father's Day card and so this was my card for that and um, my because <laughs> I'm doing this video today my cards are late um, going out but hopefully my team will forgive me so that I could get this on a video before I sent them out so this layers on to that and now we're going to stick our dad pieces on that circle piece. I might need to get my picky tool for this, but hopefully they're gonna peel. They were peeling off pretty well earlier. Yep, there it goes. So see, that bat peels off. There's your adhesive on there. And then I'm gonna try to line these up, I'm not going to stick it completely down in case I have to move it over some. There we go. Okay, that D on Dad doesn't want to stick. Maybe I didn't. There's our other D. there how easy is this card <laughs> so fun and so easy so if you um, have dads out there that you need to make a card for for Father's Day this is a great fast easy way and it's paper and one die set and glue and adhesive sheets if you want them but you could try to glue them if you want and so then I'm going to just go ahead and glue this. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and glue this on the front. I'm not going to pop this, this piece up. We'll put our sentiment piece on the inside and we're done with this card. So besides the designer series paper uh, promotion this during the month of June, we're also having a great join offer. So if you are a discount shopper, if you um, have a long wish list of things that you 
would like to get from the catalog during the month of June. Uh, while I'm doing this, this is an adhesive eraser. It's not a Stampin' Up! product, but you can find them most place, most craft places or on Amazon. And it will take glue or adhesive off your project. See, I had a little piece of something right there, and that adhesive eraser took that right off. So if you get excess glue, these work really great. And so back to the offer. If you buy a lot of Stampin' Up! products, I would love to have you join my team if you get a discount on everything that you buy. And this month, you get $155 worth of product for $99. And that's a really, really great deal. Generally, it's $125 for um, $125 worth of product for $99. So this is... Um, you know, this is a great deal for this month. So if you're interested in learning more about that, please reach out to me. All my contact information is below this video. And I'd love to have you on my team. We do lots of fun things. We do swaps and card classes if you live in the area. And um, just like to um, have get-togethers with the team. So I'd love to have you on my team. If you'd like to have a catalog or have any questions about anything, any of the cards I made or products I use, please feel free to reach out to me. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd love it if you did that. You can subscribe below the video. And if you hit the little bell, it will give you a notification every time I post a new video. So thank you so much. This is our card for today and I hope you like it. And um, I hope you'll stop by and see me again. Thanks so much. Take care.